a game, but it is absolutely not, okay? This is the energy supplement from Just Move Supplements. That's right, it's damn near all gone, girl. And that's because I had to get that energy up so I could complete the workout, so I could give y'all this bottle, this transformation, get into it, okay? And I'm done working out now, so that's why we're moving on to the protein shake. Oh yes, it's already in there, girl. It's already made right here. This is the mixture of the banana pudding, the chocolate cake, and the buttercream cupcake. And you really wanna be fancy, you can go ahead and add that blueberry muffin if that's what you wanna do, girl. But for me, it's these three right here, okay? You put that with some almond milk, you mix it all up in honey, okay? Your muscles have gained life new energy agility get into it okay just move supplements thank you very much hold up chief okay don't forget about that tlc nutri burst to get that multivitamin proper because we all need a little extra and child if you want that sea moss that go down smooth don't come up rough okay get into the tlc nautica sea moss yes get that for me and child if your stomach hurt and you need to move some things around so you can be free okay go ahead and get that ISO T down below in the description box. Get it all from me. Come on in, come on in, come on in, now come on in, now come. Sorry y'all, y'all know I'm weird, whatever. Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Bondi Blue. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead. Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Bondi Blue. Okay, follow me on Instagram and let's get into the video, right? Hey y'all, can y'all hear me? I am doing this differently. I normally would do this on my computer, but me and Juvie are sitting on the sofa and I just wanted to get on my phone and straight up talk to y'all about Martel because I feel like Martel has lost his mind. I mean, I feel like the mind was never there in the first place. But now you just online pontificating and writing out long statements and saying shit on the internet. You know, you just, you doing a lot. You doing a lot. Yeah, y'all not gonna see me. That's why I created this cute little graphic. Now these is like basically two of the most recent pictures of Mel and Martel. And as you can see, she's minding her business and he's looking like a stalker with a huge chain around his neck. I think it says a lot. I think it says a lot, okay? Child, let me go ahead and read to y'all what the folks have put in the Discord. Shout out to the people in the Discord, okay? Specifically, Big Body Bands. Shout out to you for putting this in the Discord, okay? This is what Martel wrote on Facebook. Uh, I'm guessing this is Facebook. Child, this look like Facebook. I don't know. But they took the pictures and they put it in here for me. So I'm about to read to you what the boy said. I'm going to see if I can do it uh, um, in, in the, the dumbass. Um, um, I, I can't really speak um, um, Martel voice. Um, You know. The fuck? Happy birthday, Simone. Okay. <clears throat> Are we ready? Are we ready, people? Are you guys having a good weekend? Before I even get into the foolishness, are y'all doing all right today? Child, listen, follow me on TikTok. I have a I have a TikTok now. I am not just putting my workouts on TikTok. I'm now putting my commentary on TikTok to grow my following there. And it is growing. It's growing slowly but surely, okay? Faster than anywhere else. Um, But yes, y'all make sure y'all follow me over there on TikTok. But let's go ahead and read what Martel had to say. Okay, Melody, please. Leave me alone. You moved on. I moved on. Stop attempting to destroy me. We have four children together. Stop going live and doing interviews if you don't want to speak positive about the father of your four children. First of all, let me just cut it off right there. Let me just stop right there. Martel, let me tell you something, love. People can get online and on interviews and say, whatever they want to say, especially if it is the truth. See, that's why I blew up today. Do y'all understand what Martel is saying right here? Martel is saying he does not like the fact that Mel is not protecting him by pretending that he's a good guy, even though he's not. He wants her to only say good things about him, which would be a lie, okay? 
So when I say I am tired of women lying to protect men's egos, I'm tired of it. And this is the reason why you should not do that all the time. There's nothing wrong with giving your man compliments, making him feel good. Girl, there ain't nothing wrong with massaging and rubbing feet and fixing plates. Girl, there ain't nothing wrong with all of that. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Listen to me. When I tell y'all lyric is like, lyric is greatly taken care of, okay? So I, this is not coming from a woman that does not know how to take care of someone in a relationship, okay? This is not coming from somebody that's just out here single city girl fuck a nigga oh no oh no because a lot of y'all y'all comment and y'all think y'all know me oh no baby if you knew let me explain okay my father died in 2009 my mama is still alive but it was that do us part do you understand me the people was married until the day that man died okay and to this day she'll cry about him in a new york second if you start talking about if you start talking about my dad okay so at the end of the day i know what a good man can look like and what they supposed to do this ain't it okay and i am really tired of everybody acting as if women should continue to lie and bolster false ego in men who do not meet the lies that are being told about them why should she have to get online and only speak positive when you don't do any positive shit? Somebody tell me. I need to understand. Okay? Let me continue on, child. But y'all really be like out here telling people, oh, you got to stroke a man's ego. So basically, you're telling me I need to lie to him, to myself, and to everybody around us so he can feel good about himself. Is that, is that what I am to believe? Because to me, it feels like how is a man, especially if he's not reaching his potential, how is he supposed to ever reach his potential or respect the work you put in if you are always lying about it to him and to other people? It makes no sense. Okay? And that's just something I've learned. But y'all can go ahead and act like y'all doing these niggas a favor by lying to them. But something tells me that Martel got his ego rubbed a lot in his marriage with Mel. And now we are seeing that it don't matter how much you speak positively in a nigga. If he ain't positive, ain't no positive shit going to come from it. Okay? Let me continue on, y'all. But that just really, you know, like in my spirit, y'all. In my spirit, I, I just get bothered by this constant, you know, let's remember the men have false ego that we all need to protect. But fuck your feelings and fuck how you feel. I'm tired of that. I, I'm done. I'm over it. I'm done. Stop asking me to go along with it because society tells y'all that that's what y'all should do. Stop it. I'm not doing it. I don't care. You're not going to convince me of it. I'm not confused about shit. I know what it is and I still feel like I'm not doing it and I'm not going along with it and I'm going to speak against it and I don't care how nobody feels. So let's continue on. We have four children together, four beautiful children together. Stop going live and doing interviews if you don't want to speak positive about the father of your four children. I have not spoken negatively or about you lately, lately. Lately is the key word here. Now, if I recall, Martel, you insinuated that Mel wasn't there for the children's first day of school, like earlier this week. Earlier this week, you got online and posted your little picture. We talked about it. Okay? You posted your little picture. Y'all, I've been drinking. Don't worry about it. It's a, it's a real nice red blend, girl. Copper and thief. Anyway... You got online with your little picture. I posted it. We talked about it in one of my last videos. And he was insinuating with that post that because Mel was not there to drop the children off to school for their first day of school, that he somehow is the better parent. We have heard Martel do this on the show time and time again. Make Mel seem like she's a bad parent while making himself seem like he's the primary parent and he's the primary uh, uh, provider. He would say all of these things, which we know is not true. Because when it all brought down to it, when y'all first separated, when y'all first broke up, not only did you make it difficult for her to leave, but you did not have custody of those children because you could not afford to take care of them. Even though you, what I, from what I understand, allegedly took money from Mel, 
you still did not have enough to take care of those children on your own. There was a whole therapy session where you were crying and Mel was actually trying to comfort you when you were crying about how you could not take care of those children to the same degree that you did when y'all were together. But somehow you want everybody to believe that you are super dad. You are not. And everybody sees it. But the problem is, in this society, y'all allow men to lie, to boast of their ego. And now that the shit has all come out, he still wants everybody to believe the lie. He still wants everybody to go along with the lie. And, every, and now everybody sees how ridiculous it is. But see, up until you find out a nigga dogging you out like that, you good with lying to him and lying to everybody else. Thank you for team up for the super sick. I appreciate it, child. Because, you know, you two will be trying to play us. That The last Bondi Blue show I did, Charlie still flagged. I probably wouldn't have made no money off that video if y'all wouldn't have super chatted me the way y'all did. So I thank y'all so much for that. Because I know it'd be a lot of y'all that's already members and y'all still come through and show love. And I really, really appreciate it. I do. Thank you. Continuing on Martel's bullshit train. Melody, stop lying about court and custody. And even the little childish, and I quote, Martel forgot to make the kids lunch, LOL. I told my kids they were eating at school in which lots of kids do. Yeah, Martel, but what you don't understand is one of them children don't really like eating a school lunch and she will go the whole day without eating. So Mel was like, I'm going to go and get my, I'm going to go and make lunch for my children. That's what I'm going to do. Because you were trying to make it seem like she wasn't a good mother. That's what you were insinuating. You're always saying that. You're always insinuating that. And then you're turning around and saying how great of a mother she is. You're full of shit. So don't sit up here and act like somebody's doing to you what you are doing to them. It is gaslighting at its finest, okay? I'm two for zero in court and she's zero for two in court. How, sir? How, sir? How, sir? My attorney is four for zero against her attorney. The courtroom is not social media, judges. I don't know what you're talking about, Martel. I don't know what you're talking about, Martel. Y'all have joint custody of your children and neither one of you are getting child support or alimony. She has money and you have to rob Peter to pay Paul and act like a gigolo all over the floor with these hoes. Like this is what you out here doing. She's out here booked and busy in her phone making deals. Okay. Mel, answer my text. It's business. It's not mess. <laughs> in case she watched this. Okay. Y'all know we're trying to get her to sponsor our first old ladies first panel live, you know, and have her products a part of our uh, giveaway bags and stuff. You know, we trying to, you know, we trying to get y'all something cute. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, continuing on, he says, allow men to watch our children. First of all, you're not watching your children. I, I really want men. See, that's how you know y'all don't really feel like y'all are a true parent because it's in the verbiage. How are you watching your own children? Make it make sense. You're basically saying, I'm babysitting. You're not babysitting. They're your children, okay? They're your children. The presumption is that they should be with you unless it's not your weak, Martel, okay? Either way, he says, allow men to watch our children. And she said, I do what I want. Well, Martel, you did what you wanted in the marriage. Now you mad because Mel won't do what she want out of it? Months later, Marcus's husband was left alone watching my children. I am really tired of you insinuating that because Marcus and his husband are gay, that they cannot be trusted around the children. That's what you keep insinuating. And I really wish you would stop that ignorant homophobic shit that you're doing. Y'all want to talk about some real homophobia? That's some real homophobia. Insinuating that somebody will harm your children just because they're gay. You know that's what he's doing, okay? Not saying they're bad people, just saying that's something Melody and I both were against initially. Yeah, maybe when he first came into the family, all I ask is that I have the first right of refusal if she is unable to keep the kids during her time with them. Martel, I understand that. And if you are a different type of person, I would be on your side. But because I know that you will use any information that Mel gives you about her whereabouts, you will use that against her. You will pop up on her. You will act a fucking fool. You will stalk her. You will do all of this shit and then get online and act like you are so unbothered. We have seen the way you act. 
No, that lady does not need to, 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 you know, convene with you when the kids are just like when you niggas, because there are so many of you men that will fight for custody of kids so that y'all can go and find some random woman to take care of those children or so y'all can drop them off by y'all mama house. To be real, it's more y'all that when the kids are by y'all, the kids are by your mama house. Okay. A lot of y'all do that. And Martel is one of those people. So what you asking for, what you asking for custody for all four of the kids all the time? So Miss Marlene can be over there drinking up all the wine, stressed out because you got all them fucking kids over at her house. Miss Marlene, you better tell him you ain't about to raise no children now. Nah. Miss Marlene, you better tell him again because he acting like he don't hear you. And don't let him, don't let him guilt trip you, Miss Marlene. Cause see, to me. Y'all ain't told us the story, but it feel like at some point, Miss Marlene wasn't there for Martel and his grandmama was raising him. And I feel like Martel is the type of man that would throw that shit in Marlene's face whenever he get good and ready. Don't let him throw it in your face, Miss Marlene. Continuing on. This is something most moms would want. A supportive dad who loves their kids and would rather keep them than sending them to multiple people when the mom is too busy. We get the kids on every other week. We know that sometimes things may happen or come up when we have our kids and that's okay. My issue is the excessiveness of different people watching our kids. Sir, sir, is it different people or is it family members that you didn't mind watching the kids when y'all were together? I emailed mom, Marcus and Marcus' husband. I ain't really heard of nobody else watching them kids like that. I'm so sick. Hey, Kiki, thank you for the super chat. I'm so sick of Martel. He is a disgusting example of a parent. He just can't stand that Melody pays him dust. Preach, Bindy. Oh, thank you, girl. I've been drinking in my, and I'm in my bag and I'm waiting for my home, girl, before we go out and get more drinks. Okay? So, you know, I'm, 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 I'm fucking with y'all. We're going to do it. Jamie Carter, thank you so much for the super chat. He is just one big old heady. So over it. It's like they can't, like, y'all are off. Y'all are off. Why can't y'all just be off? You know what I'm saying, you guys? The show comes back September 10th. We're, we're midway August at this point, okay? Like, to me, damn near August is probably almost gone, girl. We're almost there, Martel. Why, why we got to do all of this? Why we got to do all of this? Oh, my God. Anyway. And, and also, that whole, this is, is something most, want, most moms would want. Let me tell y'all something. I want everybody to start paying attention to the way they project online because a lot of women are dealing with piss poor men and they really think because of social media or a way a man looks or some other bullshit or basically comparing him to the worst of the worst, y'all will think he is so much better not realizing that he will give you a, no, a whole nother set of problems than the last nigga, okay? Just because you are working from the bottom does not mean he is somebody that you should look at like he is a catch or a prize, okay? Because that's who he's dog whistling to. That comment that he made about this is something most moms would want, that was a dog whistle to all of the women who can't get their niggas to come and do something for the child. But I would like for all of those women to think about the fact that men use children to fuck with the women. I would love for y'all to know that the, the men who y'all feel like would never do shit like that will turn around and use those children against the, the mothers. And so the mothers have to create some type of space and boundaries to protect themselves. Okay. Byproduct uh, um, protecting their children from someone who would use them as a tool. And I remember Y'all used to, there was a lot of people that would love to say that Mel and Martel were both using the children. And I used to get so upset about that because I was like, I haven't seen Mel use those kids not once with the way that Martel uses the children against her. I have not seen that not once. And everybody acted like, oh, well, she could have brought the kids to see him for the book sign and that was for them. Those children have already had books in their names. I'm sure those children didn't even care about that, okay? That was for Martel to get a check because he don't have one. Kwanzaa, thank you so much for the super chat. Aunties and uncles always say, let me take them out. Mel isn't trying to mix weeks and have it used against her. So the only time her family can see them kids is during her week. Exactly. Exactly. 
And that's not a bad thing to have a fucking village because you men will sit up there and use that in court if a woman doesn't have a village. If Mel didn't have her brother and her brother and her brother's husband and her mom and her friends and the other people in her life helping her, he would say, she don't have no help, your honor. How she going to take care of the kids with the way she works? Nigga, how you going to pay for the kids with the way you don't work? Is the better question. Lucky Charms, thank you for the super chat. Martell definitely gives me Kanye vibes, calling Mel at 3 a.m. screaming like, let me talk to my kids. That's why he got to email her. Thank you so much. And yes, because men definitely take these liberties and try to, oh, I want to talk to my daughter. No, you don't want to talk to your daughter. You want to hear if there's a nigga in the room so you can be upset and mad about something that ain't got nothing to do with you. Thank you, Gala Post, for the super chat. Thank you so much. Okay, so let me continue on, y'all, because he wrote a lot. All I ask is that I have the first right of refusal if she is unable to keep the kids during her time with them. This is something most moms would want, a supportive dad who loves their kids and would rather keep them than sending them to multiple people when the mom is too busy. We get the kids on every other week. We know that sometimes things happen or come up when we have our kids, and that's okay. My issue is the effect, the excessiveness of different people watching our kids. Stop. Hold up, y'all. Something got cut off. Hold up. Stop something. Hold on. Stop saying that I'm I'm not acting like a I don't know something unconditionally. I, y'all, something got cut out. Um, I'm also suing Melody for falsely accusing me of abusing my son slash kid. She stated that I hit my son 25 times and hit him on the head and made him bleed. She didn't contact me to ask what really happened. She contacted her attorney and they took my kids away from me. Why is there a laughing emoji or is that a crying emoji? So I, I, you can't put crying emojis. That's the, that don't work. I, I won in court because she lied. How sad is this? Did she lie or did she not just take your word for it and just went about doing what she had to do? Because if you've been that way, so I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it go. You're right, Martel. She lied. Mm-hmm. Now I'm suing because when she made those accusations, she kept my children away from me for 56 days. This was the reason I wasn't filming with her starting in January. Not about to run another storyline on me. She made me miss my... She she wasn't using you as no damn storyline. The girl was barely on the show this season. Um, Not about to run another storyline on me. She made me miss my baby girl, Mariah, and Malia's birthdays. Mariah used to cry to stay with me before those 56 days. Afterwards, she cried twice because she missed her mom. I love that something. If you guys knew the real melody, you guys would unfollow and no longer be fans, just like everybody that once was her friend and are no longer her friend. God didn't tell you to go. He told everybody around you. That's a lie, Martel, because she's been running from you for a while, sir. She's been running from you for a while, Brian, for a while. He's so full of shit. He's so full of shit. Thank you, Nikisha Renee, for the super sticker, boo. Thank you. Appreciate you. Okay, hold up. I have more. So he posted on his Instagram stories and then deleted it because that's the type of little messy ass he is, okay? So he said, God, he said, good parenting isn't spreading lies on social media, okay? Um, then he, this is when he wrote all of that shit. Hold up. Let me see if I can find the missing pieces. Um, hold up, hold up. Stop acting like, um, stop saying that I'm not acting like a supportive dad. I've been the more active parent since day one. How are you the more active parent since day one when Mel has been the person physically having the children, Martell? That doesn't even make fucking sense. You can't be, you can't be the primary parent when somebody is a mother. Like, at the beginning, you can't be a primary parent when somebody is. The mother, I feel like the only reason he's saying he's a primary parent is because he's comparing himself to Maurice and Marceau that wasn't really there for their children like that. Thank you, Vernita Salter, for the super chat. He did a second post that added the missing sentences. He mad because she is dropping the last name. He's mad about a lot. He's mad about a lot. Okay, I'm reading it. I got y'all. I got y'all. Okay, Um. hold up, hold up. Um. How sad is this, okay? Child, you the sad one. Afterwards, she cried twice because she missed her mom. I love that she misses her mom. Her mom just went about it the wrong way. What do you mean? 
are you really acting like Mel goes about things the wrong way, Martel? Really? Mr. You wasn't, I wasn't getting what I needed. Boy, bye. Oh my God, y'all ignore Juju snoring in the background. Right, now Melody is in contempt of court on more than one thing. If you guys knew the real Melody, like he always talking that shit. And that's what we talking about. Why are you always trying to make Mel out to seem like she the bad guy? When all Mel ever did was try to protect your little fragile ass ego. She tried to stay with your raggedy dick ass. And then you went and embarrassed her further. You kept blaming her for why you were cheating. When the truth of the matter is, if she had done you like that, for real, for real, you would have been sick and everybody would have viewed her as a whore. You niggas act like y'all don't have a choice. You could have left if you wanted to, but you didn't want to leave. You wanted to stay and you wanted to have Mel doing everything at home and have the little girlfriend on the outside making you feel like you was the big man while having Mel taking care of you. And then, and then basically making it seem like you were the one doing all the work. How dare you? How dare you? Ain't nothing good gonna come to a man that don't do right by his wife and his children. And doing right by them is putting their best interests at, at, at the forefront of your mind, meaning not putting them through the trauma of taking them from their mother because you want to prove a fucking point. You're an adolescent, and I'm sorry, Miss Marlene, but the way you lied to Martel growing up, the way your mammy lied to Martel growing up and made him think he was the bee's knees when he was subpar, this is the reason why Mel has to deal with an asshole for an ex-husband. Because y'all didn't made Martel feel like he is the best thing since sliced bread, all because he got some muscle definition and know how to pack a fucking lunch. Oh, wait, no, he doesn't. He doesn't know how to pack a lunch. But try to come out with a cookbook. Ain't that some shit? Thank you, Dequatia, for the super sticker. Thank you, love. I appreciate y'all for coming through for me. Thank you, K-Rup. Laughing my ass off every time you say, for a while, Brian. A while. <laughs> y'all know I'm a... Uh, a fan of, um, you know what I'm saying, Family Guy. I was about to start singing it and I was trying not to. Family Guy. Singing as a man who murders family and That's another one. Have y'all ever watched Family Guy? That's terrible. Why is Lois married to Why is Lois married to him? Does anybody know? It makes no sense. Anyway, y'all, I, I just wanted to come and give y'all, thank you, Kiana, for sending me the rest of it. Um, but I went back to the post that I had saved on Instagram. Thank you so much, though. I appreciate y'all for sending me information. Y'all know that. Child, it's just, it's just real aggravating the way every time you turn around, it's either coleslaw or Martel popping their ass on the internet to act a damn fool. Just acting a goddamn fool. Don't make no sense, Martell. Honestly, it doesn't even matter what's going on in court. What we see is you playing games with Sheree. I heard Funky Dineva say that Martell was so upset with Sheree because Sheree put it out there that they were dating to TMZ. Yet they were standing there taking and posing for pictures and shit. But we're to believe that Martell was like, oh, she's not my type. Martell, did you say she wasn't your type because you want to make sure that the women you fuck behind the scenes don't get upset? Was that for coleslaw's benefit, Martell? Let us know. Because it feel like either way you out here faking a funk with Sheree and now you gonna act like you building a pool, nigga, with what license? What license are you building a pool with, Martell? Inquiring minds wanna know, okay? And, and also, also, can we talk about how allegedly um, the Scott brothers and everybody was there to support Martell? With his INS wine after they almost got into a fist fight in a parking lot? Word. Word. Let me tell you something. I don't know what dirt Martel has on Scott Brothers, but it's got to be some deep ass shit. Because I really feel like if he didn't have whatever he has on them, they would not be fucking with him. But it is so obvious they are always willing to forgive and, and, and just let go and forget whatever happened when it comes to Martel. And I wonder why. I wonder why. Thank you, Sharon J, for the super chat. I appreciate you guys. Yeah, they all cheated together. Meanwhile, Mel Rubin showed us closing $30 million, real estate, $30 million real estate deals. He's big mad. And looking good while doing it. Looking good while, do y'all see her in this picture? 
this is a good wig okay it's good pleat it's good makeup it's a cute suit okay and martel has chains around his neck you know why he needs to take the shackles off so he can dance you need to praise him i don't know what's going on but it feels like imprisonment in the mind and in the spirit martel but see that's because niggas don't want to stop lying to themselves they don't want to stop lying to themselves and i feel like we need to help them out and remind them hey nigga, you know you're lying to yourself right you know you're lying to yourself right now thank you chocolate 25 uh lm i think that is for the super sticker thank you okay take the goddamn shackles off your feet so you could dance martel okay because you need to get your life together sir this is not what the this is not what the lord wanted i really wish somebody would tell you the truth besides mel i don't know who over there what happened to mel nika okay we know your mama ain't gonna talk real to you okay because she's so scared you're gonna throw in her face that you wasn't there for her you know you wasn't there for me growing up mama oh yeah oh so the, yeah oh yeah that's what i've been hearing that that fight with Mar uh Mar um marceau and maurice was fake and you know what makes me mad that if they was playing like that mel was the one that was still looking to protect his raggedy ass martel martel titties falling out because she's trying to protect him and i remember saying i wish he wouldn't have done that i remember feeling i wish she wouldn't have done that and everybody like that's the father of her kids and i'm like yeah but that nigga don't deserve your protection that nigga don't deserve your protection anything concerning him if your children like and, 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 you know her children was there i understood all that i would have got my children in the car and rolled the fuck off i wouldn't have had nothing else to, nothing else to say after i said what i had to say to everybody i'd have gotten a call and, and walked the girl out of rolled the away i don't give up what's going on i don't give up what's going on okay girl listen i feel like mel has learned i feel like mel has learned okay and i don't know why everybody always so confused about the timeline mel done told y'all 50 11 times that martel been cheating since 2015 she found out in 2017 she tried to take him back okay then she found out in 2019 that he was cheating again and that's when they started love and marriage huntsville she found out right before they started taping the show which is why she was so pissed and couldn't keep that shit to herself even though they must have had a pact just like the people on love and marriage dc speaking of did y'all see our interview with monique on jamie that's me's channel part one and part two are up on jamie that's me's channel for you guys to view uh-huh that was very interesting let me tell you something right now if they get a second season child i can't wait to see how it all plays out oh yeah i'm gonna come back because i want to see how it plays out i want to see who gonna be friends and who not gonna be friends especially when we out here promoting misogyny you know what i'm saying like promoting misogyny if a woman doesn't have a man sitting next to her then she better not tell the truth and she better not defend herself because the men are gonna come at her and then everybody's gonna feel like oh well she asked for it she asked for it because she was honest about what she knew about them. She should have lied if she didn't have a man to sit next to her. Child, please. Some of us don't need a man sitting next to us in order to say what the fuck we need to say. And men still should not feel like they could violently attack us because we said whatever the fuck we said. How about that? How about men control themselves? like women control themselves y'all need to understand words are words i can say whatever the fuck i want to say and that does not mean somebody can put their hands on me it doesn't it does not not at all child not marceau is in the chat that would be a, a huge surprise to me child Why are, we, why are we talking about Marcus as Mel's brother? Y'all talking to somebody in the comments? Because I know who Marcus is. <laughs> child, I, I know who Marcus is, child. Y'all, let me tell y'all another thing. Child, Marcus is beautiful. I don't know if y'all know. But Mark, Marcus is a good-looking ass man. You got to see him in person. You have got to see Marcus in person. You see Marcus in person with the rest of his, like, impeccably dressed uh, gay, gay homeboys? Child. <laughs> They walked into the motherfucking room at Mel's event like the revolution. 
you know the new version, but they was just all very beautiful together, okay? Them niggas almost had all had the same outfit on. Like they all had black suits on, and Marcus was the only one that had on tan. I was like, did y'all coordinate this? <laughs> did y'all coordinate this? Okay. Yeah, uh-uh. Marceau is on live right now with Tisha. Oh, is he? Y'all want me to pull it up? Child, let me see if I can pull it up. I don't think I can do that on here. I don't think I can do that on here because I'm on my phone, y'all. I ain't on Insta. Hold on, I can just pull it up on my other phone. Hold up. Let me pull it up on my other phone because I don't even follow them. Oh, wait, no, I do follow Marceau. Child, why I always look like Marce Marceau got titties? All right, he leaving. They getting off. Damn, I'm late. Why them children always got on hoodies? It be hot as hell outside. Thank you, Prosperity Thick Girl, for the super chat. Airhead told Sasha K. That's not Martell. She's bitter. Okay, so it ended. I, I was late. I'm sorry. They don't look like they was talking about nothing anyway. They getting online so they can make y'all think they like each other. I'm sure they do. Okay, I'm sure they do. But they just be doing a lot of projecting. Airhead told Sasha K that, hold up, that not Martell, she's bitter. That's not Martell, she's bitter? Who is bitter, Mel? So is Ariane still under the illusion that Mel is the problem and it's not Martell, even after y'all didn't been fighting and making up to breaking up over and over again. This is just, uh, this is just, uh, just, uh, I don't like none of this. Okay. Y'all make sure y'all like the video since y'all coming in here. What else is going on? Wanda with that fake story. Oh, did y'all see Wanda? I absolutely did. Shout out to Empress Radio because she always on top of it, even when I don't give a fuck, okay? I'm going to tell y'all, I don't care about these people that much to be following them the way they do, child, but they got their niche and they stick to it and I respect it because I be wanting to know, but I don't be caring enough to come to y'all about it. But they come to all of us so then I can later just form my opinion from everything I've been listening to based on you know with the information that's been out there and usually child empress radio be on it okay on it all right so she put out the video of wanda following marceau in her car because he was around her knit with the wood and you know it's just oh my lord i can't i can't stand the way she says shit wrong and i think she hears herself saying it wrong so instead of correcting herself she continues to say it wrong either way Okay, either way, she was following him in her car, and then she followed him to the interstate to make sure wasn't nobody in the car. And she was laughing about it. <laughs> I was just making sure. <laughs> and I was just like, if this ain't the most pathetic shit I done seen, child, just as pathetic as you want to be. Because ain't nobody asking for you. Because ain't nobody looking for you. Because ain't nobody running to your Facebook to ask you questions. Because we did, we've we learned now that y'all are not going to tell the truth about whatever the fuck is going on with Tisha and Marceau. So now y'all won't come to us with the bullshit. Like, I, I've been told y'all that I have been bored. I have been bored and I have been done with the whole Sky situation. I feel like it is what the fuck I said it is which is that Marceau probably stopped cheating or has his cheats in control, okay? He must have his cheats under control, okay? NDAs, girls that's got something to lose, married bitches, whatever going on, I feel like he doing what the, he want to do. But I also feel like Tisha didn't threaten him, you know, I think Tisha found some shit out. I think whatever came out last season bothered her more than she wants us to believe, even though we can see it all up in her eyes. And I think he is, you know, it's cheaper to keep her. So I think he ain't never really going to let his shit come out like that because he got to protect everything they got going on over there. And it's easier to stay in your marriage than to break up. 
You could be in a marriage and not really be together, not even really be trying to fool with one another, but still in the marriage, especially if you know it's going to benefit you financially. So I don't believe shit that the Scots got going on over there acting like they like each other now. I mean, marriages go through ups and downs all the time. Then people going to stay together. That's their business. But just like Contessa and Scott, that don't mean I think y'all happy. That don't mean I think y'all happy, okay? I'm tired, I'm bored, and I want everybody to go ahead and let it go. <laughs> okay, what else is going on? That was cute. Y'all thought y'all was really going to do something when y'all took the focus off Mel and everybody was bored. Anyway, um, I don't see nothing else going on. Um, What, they got somebody in here talking a lot of shit? They got somebody in here talking a lot of shit. <laughs> You know what's so funny? They got somebody in here talking shit and I ain't even see it. <laughs> Girl, I'm on my phone. I can't even see it. I can see some of y'all comments. I can, but I don't know who's saying nothing crazy because I can't even see it, but it don't even matter and I don't even care because I said what the fuck I said. Okay? And if you want all, you want to argue with somebody, you want to argue with somebody, argue with your mom. Okay? A part of my therapy is I said what the fuck I said. Now go get you some. I'm done. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Hold on, wait. Destiny wrote a letter in support of Martel, allegedly. That girl said she ain't go to court for him. She got her own problems. But yeah, all right. I'm done. I'm out.